Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. So I received some happy mail today from a friend, a, a patron, and I thought I'd open it. I did open the box and I did kind of glimpse through some of it, make it a little bit easier to open, but I thought I'd share it with you. I actually want to make this an ornament. <laughs> so, um, Dear Burgess, I'm really wishing you and your family a loving and beautiful Christmas. Also, you uh, I got to tell you, when I saw that little typewriter, all I could think about was you. So then she saw some other things and she knows that I like them. And she put a few extra goodies in here for Christmas. Um, she said she loves my drawings and she's trying to do a few herself. And I am such an inspiration to her. And she wanted me to enjoy my holiday season. Love and hugs. She knows who she is. Thank you, you from New York. Thank you. So the first thing I got in here was this and I saw the coffee cup and I was like, oh, and then I realized there was stuff in the back of this. So I got a tag with some envelopes and isn't that adorable? I love, I love, 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 love this. And I got a coffee washi tape and a little coffee. Look, it's a charm. It's a charm. I don't know what I'm going to put it on, but I have some traveler's notebooks that don't have charms on them. Really? So this is adorable. Look at this little charm. Look, it's a little coffee mug. <laughs> y'all, if I start crying during this, y'all just have to excuse me because this is like amazing. And I have the light on so you can kind of see. So... Let me scoot it back a little so you won't have quite so much glare. All right. So this is the typewriter she spoke of. It is a Christmas ornament. And isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? It's going on the tree back there. So I'm going to have to do a new intro because I'm going to have to film the, the tree ornament. So the next thing. I have is some Snoopy washi tape, y'all. Isn't that, oh, look, Snoopy washi tape. And I also got some Snoopy and Woodstock sticky memos. Oh. <laughs> okay. And I got some Christmas, Christmas type washi tape. It's like the cutest. It has the thin and the thicker. And I got another little charm and it's a little notebook, y'all. It's a little notebook. It's a little notebook. This might have to, um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on a traveler's no notebook or if I'm actually going to put it on, on my wallet, not my wallet, my keychain. I might have to put this on my keychain. This is absolutely adorable. But then again, I have to put it on a tripod number. This is just, this This is so cute, y'all. It's actually got real little pieces of paper in it. And uh, this is adorable. This is adorable. It's got gummy bears in it. But, um, this is absolutely adorable. I'm probably going to have to put this like on the desk for now and not eat the gummy bears and just put it on the desk with the Christmas tree for now. It's so cute. It's so cute. I got a dashboard, but first copy and it has my name or a pencil board or pen board. It could be any of those. I think people call them different things. So, um, that's, it's gorgeous. Look at it. So I got a book called The Daily Writer, Fred White, 366 Meditations to Cultivate and Product and uh, to Cultivate a Productive and Meaningful Writing Life. Make writing a part of your daily routine. Definitely on my wish list. It was Flow, a book, a book that takes its time and unhurried, an unhurried adventure in creative mindfulness. 
Take time to breathe. Take time to create. Take time to reflect. Take time to let go. Take time. This is a mindfulness retreat between two covers. A book that takes its time is filled with bound in postcards, mini journals, stickers, decorative papers for collaging, and many more surprises to encourage slowing down and appreciating the little things. Move slowly and with intention through the pages and discover the sweet place where life can be both thoughtful and playful. It's by Flow, by the magazine Flow. Um, I'm going to have to actually film a, a peek of this. This is probably one of the best things I ever could have gotten. Um, as a journaler, as a creative person who likes to inspire and motivate other people to be creative and yes this is that's like the perfect gift the perfect gift and the next thing i got was by janet lures the simple living guide an essential source book for less stressful more joyful living whether you are looking at small solutions for cutting down the stress in your life or taking the big leap towards the simple life this book can be your guide so one of my goals for 2018, and I've talked about this, is to read a nonfiction, at least one nonfiction book every month, preferably something that's geared towards creativity, writing, art, journaling, that kind of thing, self-help. So these are fantastic for me. Y'all, Christmas has come early. Christmas has come early. And that's what I have. Um, I am overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. So I'm going to go put this on my Christmas tree, rearrange a few ornaments, go put this on my Christmas tree. I may, yes, put this on my Christmas tree. I may actually put this on my Christmas tree. I'm dropping stuff. I may put this on my Christmas tree until Christmas is over. And then when it's, yes, I think I'm going to do that and actually use this as an ornament for now because this is absolutely adorable and I love it. Thanks y'all. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. But uh, just thank you. I'm speechless here. That doesn't happen very often y'all. Not very often at all. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.